Goodwill open. We're gonna go inside and check it out. Right there, waiting for us. got to start with the voiceover. The music was super loud inside. But as I came in, first impressions were there is a ton of clothing. Like almost the whole store is clothing and there's like one section in the back for hard goods. We had to search to find the toys which were kind of sh stuck way over by the kids clothes. So yeah, there's only a little section for hard goods, but that's fine, you know, new Goodwill. But for the clothing sellers, I'm sure it's like, yes, clothing scores. So let's take a peek at, yeah, here's the hard goods section. That's it. That is it right there. And camera work for the win. There's some furniture and then yeah, the rest of the store. Clothing as far as the eye can see, darlings. Yeah, 360. There we go. But it doesn't matter as long as we can find some goods. And I do. I load up the cart and uh, yeah, totally get some, some cool stuff. I was taking a peek at this glass bowl. But as you can see, like the glass is like the coloring, the frosting is like scratched. So left that behind. This was really kitschy cute. But they wanted five bucks on that, so that was going to be a hard pass. Now this one, I looked up, let's see if I can remember what it was, six bucks. So 1975 something ceramic, I'll have to look it up again. Um, but I put it in the cart because what I've been trying to do is, because I've learned from my mistakes, put things in the cart and then look them up before I just walk by them because I've had too many times when I decide, oh, I'll look it up in a minute or I'll come back in a second and then it's gone. So now I just put it in the cart and look it all up at one time. Aha, this is my bread and butter. I love the tchotchkes. Look at that cat. Look at it. It's wood. It's painted. It's awesome. Four dollars though. It says as is. The ear was chipped on it. And I mean, I don't think it's too big of a deal, but I wasn't sure that I wanted to pay four bucks. So I still put him in the cart, clearly. <laughs> so let's see what else we got here. This, I mean, his bunny, that bunny had crazy eyes and this bunny has crazy teeth. Look at him. So I, I like this bunny because of his funny face and this one because of its crazy eyes. But again, the pricing, hmm, it's pretty rough. Like when you start getting used to going to the bins or garage sales and finding stuff for super cheap trying to find that margin to make a profit can get a little more tricky with some of the higher prices that Goodwill or Savers are starting to charge. Music boxes tend to oh look, here we go, beautiful camera work. Anyway, music boxes, yeah. So take a peek. That one was wound too much and it couldn't wind anymore, so I had to leave it behind. There were definitely some really cool things here. Aha, Princess and the Pea. Take a peek at this clock. Anytime I see a fairy tale that is not a very common one, I always double check like Princess and the Pea or let's say it's the Frog Prince or yeah, I think you get the idea. Any fairy tale that isn't like a super common one, take a look. Now I looked up Princess and the Pea, just random Princess and the Pea stuff. I'm looking more at not the books because the books, you know, their the prices can vary, but things like room decor. Let's say somebody wants to set their kid's nursery up and they want to do Princess and the Pea theme because it's not what everybody's doing, right? Finding stuff that's Princess and the Pea like decor, toys, things like that can bring a pretty good profit. So definitely keep an eye out on fairy tales that aren't the usual ones. I swoosh! I swooped down and grabbed that. <laughs> that's a really cool owl. Now, I don't end up getting the Princess and the Pea clock because one of the hands ended up being broken, but I did carry it around with me for a while and then realized that one of the hands was, it was broken beyond repair. It might have still been a cool pickup for a repair piece. I don't really repair anything, so I left it behind. Maybe somebody else will pick it up and find a, find a treasure there. 
Let me know too if you see anything here that you would pick up, but we're going to find something else that's pretty cool. I like picking up these little village. I feel like they wanted more than I wanted to pay on that, but now I can't remember. What am I going back to? Am I looking at it again? Oh, it was these hot plates. This is an artist. Oh, I can't read what it is right now. Uh, but these hot plates are really cool. I Usually hot plates, you know, even if they're metal ones, if they're a cool design, can bring a good profit. You know, it, again, if it matches somebody's kitchen decor, they're pretty small. They're usually pretty easy to store, easy to ship. Those ones are ceramic, so they would be breakable. But a lot of times you find really cool metal ones that can sell for a good profit. Anything else around here? I mean, uh, as for a new Goodwill, there was a lot of really cool tchotchkes. Look at this cute planter or whatever holder. But the poor kitty's ears ear was cracked, so it had to stay behind. But otherwise, I would have gotten it in a heartbeat. I see you, red and gold box. Now, I know I don't end up showing those grapes, but there are some grapes here that they look like really cool glass grapes, but they're not. They're those right there. They end up being plastic. So let me know if you would have gotten them anyway. I feel kind of like maybe I should have gotten them. Those like big, like your grandma would have or my grandma would have had, like this fake glass fruit stuff. But yeah, I didn't get that. I'm really just going to sit here and look at it, aren't I? I'm I think I'm trying to maneuver to get my hand to look at this box. It's pretty cool. I like stuff like this, but I do not. I just, I see some damage. It's kind of scuffed up. So I'm like, eh. I've already got a cart full of stuff, so maybe I should hold off. And so I left it. Now these are those willow tree um, figurines. I think that one was broken. Maybe not. But I did not get that either. There was another. I was. I know there was a willow tree figure that I looked at that was broken. I really didn't want to pay six bucks for that, but maybe it was a mistake because I didn't look it up. Normally, I will, like like I said, I load my card up and then I've, I'll look things up as we go along. That's really sweet. I think that's that's a Staffordshire piece. Might have been okay, but it was kind of more than I would wanted to pay. Little toothpick holder. The cobalt blue is always good. My kid's like, look at this clown, Mom. The kids also went to go look. Look, this might have been a sweet little pickup, but how much did they want on it? Four bucks? Uh, pass. If it had been like a dollar, I probably would have gotten it. My kids end up finding the toy section and bring back mega nerf. They're, they're my nerf slash Lego slash go, go look in the kids section and find the cool stuff and bring it back. This is really awesome too. I think if it hadn't been as much as it was, I would have gotten it. It's like this Greek mask decor, five bucks. It might have still been an okay pickup. Would you say that's Greek or Italian? Greek, right? I feel like, oh, look at that damage. Never mind. Maybe that's why. Okay, metal, like brass figurines. We'll come back to that in a second. Look at this lion. You know I'm getting it. It's two bucks. It's awesome. It's probably from something. I have to find out what, but it definitely came home. Anyway, brass figurines. I love picking them up if they're if the price is right. I do like to look them up because some are do better than others. So here are some that are up. This is just a sampling. Definitely look. But again, I don't always go just off of eBay solds. I look at eBay sold. I look at what's up on Etsy. I, I find, like if you do a, a search, an image search, sometimes you find your item across different platforms. And a, as I'll show in a second, there are some candlesticks I pick up that the, there's a pair up on eBay for $4. And then there's some that are up on Etsy for a different price. Where were they sold? I think they were sold. We'll look in a second. <clears throat> Let's see. Look at this moose. He's all wrapped. Oh no, he's in a coo. canoe. Moose in a canoe. And y'all, I really do love it when you let me know, like, yeah, that was a cool thing. Oh, that one's broken, though. But sometimes, like, I'll pick something up or I'll pass something up, and I don't know because nobody can know everything, right? So I learn a lot, too, when y'all are in the chat, like, oh, my gosh, Margaret, you passed by the la-la-la. Uh, so not only do I learn from that, oh, my gosh, I just noticed that that pot has feet. <gasps> oh, I'm so angry. Did y'all see that? That pot had feet. Oh, I'm not angry, but I'm very disappointed in myself that I missed it because I love it. That reminds me of Babbity Rabbity on the Hopping Pot. Okay, and if you don't know that story, it's in the Tales of Beetle the Bard, and it's one not to miss, I must say. <laughs> anyway, I wish I'd seen that. Oh, bummer, because I would have kept it. I would have kept it. Those were really cool, but they were just kind of like resin. They weren't glass. And this, it looks like a finial, or like it, it looks like a vase on this side, but I think it was like a globe that went on top of something else. 
One thing that I don't end up showing here is that I got a green Fenton apple paperweight while we were here, and I don't know why I didn't end up getting a, uh, it in the video, which is just weird. Uh, but it's really cool, and I'm super nervous that it's going to break because it's worth a lot, <laughs> and I want to sell it. I guess I should get it listed, right? That's that's how you're going to sell it, Margaret. Sitting over there, staring at you on your dresser in the room. Okay, so looking along here, let's see what else. Uh, the moment, nothing is jumping out at me. I like the pots, but then again, that's the gardener in me. The, the little bathroom canisters here I like, like the toothbrush and like... I don't know, what would you put in there? Cotton balls? Those might have been an okay pickup. One, because they were green and they were more like an unusual shade. Like not a typical bathroom color. So it might have been something somebody might have liked. I'm still learning a little bit more about glassware. And definitely, if you see stuff that I missed, let me know. There are things I, I mean, just like with everything. Like there's stuff I know and that I'm comfortable with. Mostly it's stuff that my grandma, like cranberry glass, flow blue, like there's stuff I know, but I know there's, I know enough to know that I don't know enough, if that makes sense. I think it does. So this little guy, I, I don't get, I can't remember exactly why I didn't choose to look him up more. I spy a Halloween lantern. Aha, here we go. Look at these. Feast your eyes. So these are candlesticks, they're clawfoot candlesticks, and I'm going to pause it on this mark so you can embed it in your memory. This MMA stands for Metropolitan Museum of Art. Their stuff can sell for really, really good money. Metropolitan Museum of Art stuff, they will have Christmas ornaments, jewelry, tchotchkes, uh, what else? Like just figurines. I mean, anytime you see MMA, museum, a Metropolitan Museum of Art, definitely take a closer look at it. So I've done a search here and we're going to take a look at some things just a kind of an idea, a general idea, and then we're going to look up these candlesticks, which I'm not sure I'm going to sell because I love them. Aren't they awesome? They have little claw feet, tiny little candlesticks. Okay, here we go. So here's a few, like just a, a smattering of stuff you might find that's um, Metropolitan Museum of Art. Usually it's marked MMA. I sold a, an ornament, like a cross ornament, like enameled. It was really, really pretty. Uh, but as you can see, there's scarves and jewelry, ornaments, candlesticks. Usually they're like replication, uh, replicate, that doesn't seem like that, reproduction, like museum stuff. So here you see my candlesticks on eBay. Somebody has them up for five bucks. But then here, this is a sold listing on Etsy. And I'm going to pull up Flipper Tools so you can see what they sold for on Etsy. They sold for $45. So I could go buy those off of eBay and turn around and flip them for way more because I think they're worth way, way more than five bucks. I may go back and do that, honestly, uh, depending on what the shipping is, because unless there's major damage to them, there's no, I, there's not any other listings of those candlesticks up. So let's say you wanted more than one set for whatever fancy reason you have, it would definitely be worth uh, my while to do that. So, because I'm not sure I'm going to sell the ones I've got, but they're really cool. I love them. I like this basket a lot, but right now I'm kind of hesitating on shipping much bigger stuff. I, I say that, but then I have giant Lego boxes that I'll ship. Things that are bigger, you know, past like 12 inches, the, the shipping starts going up on that. And so you really have to take that into account, especially if you're a new seller and you're trying to keep it easy breezy, you know, finding stuff that's smaller I say this, it's not always the best advice, but if you're trying to like just ease your way into it, then start with smaller things that are lighter, that are not like weird, like 18 inches, 24 inches, you know, big bulky stuff. Unless you want to go straight in, right? Don't take my advice because I know I didn't follow that advice at all. I liked a steep learning curve and frustrating myself, but <laughs> I'm easily frustrated. So that's, that wasn't a hard feat. These baskets are so cute. This one, I, I wanted to paint it yellow. It reminded me of like, a tis, get a tasket. I lost my yellow basket. What is this? Okay. Is this like an, it's not an artist palette. I pull it up and look at it because I'm like, this is awesome. I've never seen anything like this before. It looks like a serving tray. You think it's like for serving, like fancy serving stuff? And it folds out like so. Folds back in. It's some kind of serving, I think. The reason I don't go forward with getting it is it's missing 
one or two feet. Six bucks. It may have still been worth picking up, but I wasn't really wanting to do repairs or I'm just trying to make it easier for myself, honestly. And that's okay. You know, it is okay. Because everybody else, you know, maybe they would say, oh yeah, I would totally pick that up. But all right, frames. Usually I don't like to spend a lot on frames, but this one is one of those like bubble glass, uh, convex, convex, convex frame. I couldn't find one just like mine. This is one that's up on pick, click, pick, click, pick, click. I don't know. Uh, or eBay, um, selling for, this is one, this is the sold from, I have them, I have my slides backwards, 60 bucks. This is a sold on Etsy that sold. How I find these, cause I know I'll get the question is when I search stuff, I don't just search on eBay. I do a Google search and then I click images and then going off of images. If I find something similar or something that's mine, I, I open those tabs for those images and frequently it will be an, an Etsy listing that has already sold. And so at that point, I can go to the website Flipper Tools and take the URL, plug it in, and get the sold price from, from that. Sorry, those slides were backwards, but it, uh, it happens. It happens. I just, I saw that little red recipe book holder. Sorry, I just banged the, I banged the mic. Hopefully it didn't blast your ears right there. Now I spy these brass mid-century modern bamboo motif trays. Part of me is regretting not getting them. That one was, what was it? $7.99 on that. I have one in my garage right now. That's ginormous. It's huge. What is that one? Four, maybe it was only four bucks. Ugh. here's what I saw when I looked at this. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to clean those. <laughs> look, how, look how they are. I guess I could have listed them without cleaning them now in retrospect, uh, but I, I think that they would have been a really good pickup because anything like mid-century modern, Hollywood Regency, tends to still sell really well. These bats I also wish I had picked up because they're awesome. Why didn't I pick them up? For me, probably because I'm trying to remind myself, hey, stop spending so much money, Margaret. This is a business. You gotta sell stuff before you can buy stuff. Look at me. I'm still hovering over these. I'm like, hmm, do I want to get them? I almost got this too. I carry it around for a bit because I thought about hanging it in my workroom for like necklaces that I'm listing and stuff. Like if I've detangled and I really don't want to detangle them again. But, but I, I don't. I get it. I put it in the cart, but then I do not end up getting it. This little coffee service. I just don't even look at it. What's the matter with me? Uh, I passed right by it, but I'm looking at these A to Z bookends. Bookends can really sell as, as well. They wanted $3.99. I feel like I took them up to the counter to ask, Hey, you know, cause I do this too. If, if they are clearly a set, I'll ask like, are these supposed to be this price for both of them? Uh, or just one of them. And now I can't remember if I actually got them or not. I'll have to look in the bag cause I haven't listed these yet or photographed them or anything. They're still on the shelf. Maybe I should do a haul from that because I know I'm not showing everything that I picked up. That's a pretty cool base. I like it. Why didn't I look at that tea or coffee service? I do not know. I don't. It was all there too. Oh well. I was blinded by it. Maybe I looked at it and the price was too high or something. So over here I see this really cool, um, and like a repoussé sort of, you know, it's bashed in from the back. That's the fancy term. Bashed in from the back. Um, cake stand. It's pretty cool. Uh, but also, I didn't want to get it. <laughs> I didn't even look it up. So, But I liked it. I thought it was pretty cool. Oh, well. Aha. If you are one of my Mug Life peep, drop me a Mug Life down in the comment section because I have got mug video coming. I have got footage I've been collecting so we can talk Mug Life. This is The Simpsons. If you see Simpsons stuff, definitely take a peek at it, you know. Uh, so here's Homer and the donut. The prices were kind of, I mean, they were anywhere from 20, 10 to 25 bucks. So I feel like I can just put what I want on it. There were a number of mugs here that were mm, promising. I got a couple. And then there's one that I, I'm going to show in just a second that's got um, hieroglyphics on it. Hieroglyphs? Petroglyphs? Not petroglyphs hieroglyphics. I always get corrected. So y'all will have to correct me again. Anyway, this is a tip. So I get this mug, which I'll show you in a second. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Here it is. 
as I'm walking around, I run my finger along the inside ridge of it and it is like sharp as all get out. So I end up not getting it because, but I could, there was no chips or cracks. I don't know how the mug became so sharp on the inside ridge. It was like very bizarre. Um, but I'm so glad I'm like, how many times do I run my finger along the inside ridge of a mug? Never. I just so happened to on that one. Cause I thought it was so cool. And then, yeah, these plates are awesome. 99 cents a piece. I, I know I looked them up, but I think I may have gotten them anyway, just cause they're so cool. The owl on that other one. And I don't think they were worth much from what I remember, but I feel like I, I feel like I did get them cause I just love them myself. And I'm not a plate person. <laughs> generally like my mom like hangs plates on the wall for decor that's not my jam I thought these were really cool these epic um plates and this I don't know tea uh, coffee cups and stuff but they weren't they were not worth picking up they just weren't that was for the set on those yeah but no I mean the price is pretty cheap but even still like I looked them up and I'm like uh eh, it wasn't going to be worth getting I liked that, that peach design. I didn't look this one up. I think because I saw, was that Ross or Marshall's tag on it? And I was like, mm, maybe not. Does that, does that turn y'all off too when y'all see that? <laughs> I love stuff with strawberries on it, y'all. So this was, I really liked it a lot. They wanted five bucks, but again, look at that damage. I was like, what am I going to do? No, I passed. Uh, some more, I believe that's Spode, right? Is it? I can't see. I feel like it's maybe not. Okay. I'm doing some great camera work here. I'm looking. It was getting kind of crowded. All right. Vanity mirrors. I like picking up vintage ones. There weren't any vintagey ones here. This one was promising because it had quite, kind of more of a masculine flair to it. The coloring as far as that goes. You know. The men like the grooming too. <laughs> this one was fun, um, but that was like a light up one. I didn't, I didn't get that one either. I don't get any of them. Spoiler. And then lots of cool appliances. I see a vintage radio back here. I'm still looking for one of those that the numbers flip. Uh, I'm going to find one in the wild. I just am. I know it. Uh, but my kids want it. <laughs> my kids have seen them in a movie or something and they were like, oh my gosh, I really want to find one of those. Just keep your eyes open, kiddos. We'll find one. What do you guys look for? If you're looking in the small electronics like this. Oh, sporting goods too. Gosh, I have so much to learn. <laughs> look, there you can see the giant uh, Nerf that the kids found. So, happy little accidents. How fun. I was looking at this because, you know, we homeschool. Oh, American Puzzle. And then I see a thousand pieces. Well, we're just going to put that right back. <laughs> that would take us a million years to do. 300 pieces is like tops, maybe 500, but oh my gosh, a 300 piece puzzle will take us a week. <laughs> we just don't have the patience. I think all of us are ADHD and just cannot sit still that long. If you saw the guitar just a second ago up in the corner, we're going to talk about that in a second. Look at this. Okay. Uh, this is Jack Jack and the raccoon from Incredibles 2. I had not seen this toy ever. And so I was like, oh my gosh. And it makes noise. I'm going to have to show you. I'll probably make a video. You know, I will. Uh, I have not seen this, so I looked it up and it is scarce. So here's one that's up for 40 bucks. That's the only one up on eBay that I could find. There is one that sold for 20 bucks on eBay. And then I feel like they, they could have gotten more. I mean, it might be a sitter, but that's fine. And then these are the others when I did like a search, just like a Google search. This one's drawn all over on Mercari for 31 bucks. So, yeah, it might be something that sits for a while, but I think having it be something that's so scarce, I can definitely ask a higher profit on it. I'm pointing out to my kids, look at these Nerf. Are these good? Do we need them? And the kids are like, no, Mom. No, we're good. Uh, so, anyway, I don't go back up. There's the guitar. This guitar was in the kids' section. It's not a toy. It's a short guitar. It's like a traveling guitar. And it's probably worth about 50 bucks. Now, my kids have claimed it for their own but if they decide then then I will definitely sell it but there are small like travel size guitars like that that can depending on the brand can really sell so when you're in the kids section and you see musical instruments you know they're they may not always be toys just because it's a short or a small version of of a guitar or say a ukulele 
um, sometimes you can find uh, instruments that are worth uh, a good profit. So yeah, I had to clip in some extra footage here back from the beginning because I ran out and I was not done talking to you. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Those are some of the things that I would pick up from a new Goodwill that I can flip for an amazing profit. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.